okay, that was probably the weirdest intro I've ever done. Um, maybe not. Whatever. So, this is a tutorial, and God only knows how long it's going to be. Because I'm going to be body swapping. I have to cover one of their bodies, because there's a big bag of appropriate on it. I'm swapping three Ken bodies here. It's a three-way swap, so I'm nervous, as you can probably imagine. So, obviously, um, I've already stripped them of their clothes. And uh, it's going to be exciting. So, for those of you who don't know, that's my alarm that I'd never listen to. So, this is Mike. You guys, if you don't know him, I'm going to be like, why? He's my baby Santa. This is Mike. And I've been meaning to change his body for forever because his knees don't bend and his articulation is, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> and then this is Jason. And uh, this is, um, crap, I forgot to say, this is William, um, this was Charles, but, like, I think, I think I told somebody this, I have to, like, update my character list again, because, I, I'm gonna do it from same sections from now on, but, yeah, I'm gonna have to make, like, an update video another time, because, yeah, this is gonna be way too long as it is, so, yeah, what you need is your dolls, typically, you would probably only have two, but if you're gonna do multiple, then you're gonna get whatever dolls you want to swap um Mike and uh, what's his face are going to oh wait no I lied this body this body is gonna go to Mike Jason is go Jason's body is gonna go onto this head which is um, Williams head and then uh, Mike's body is gonna go onto William This is going to be interesting. See, so yeah, you you strip them. Any clothes that you might potentially want to dress them in are here. And um, you're going to need, obviously, your dolls. And you're going to need a hair dryer. Um, so we're going to move to the bathroom. And then we're going to go from there. Okay, guys, we're back. And I've got my blow dryer, which I have to plug in. And I am warning you, it will get loud. Um... So, yeah. Alright. So, basically, I'm probably going to start with Mike just because it's in this row. Um, and we're going to move the boys over here out of the way. See, this is my workspace. And, um, yeah, basically, here are the settings on my blow dryer. Here's what it looks like. We've got the cool button, which you don't use. We've got hot, warm, and cool all the way up to hot because it's fastest. And then obviously this is the settings for all low or high, low speed. And just a warning, because this has happened to me before. It's actually happened to me like a couple days ago. If you have your hair down, keep it away from your blow dryer because it will get caught and it will pull and it's painful and you, you know, break hair and it's, it's, it's a painful and bother. So yeah, here we go. I'm putting my hair behind my back for this very purpose because my hair is in fact down today. Joy, silly me. All right. Here we go. Here's where it gets loud. You literally just blow it on their heads until they get soft. Since this is in fact a Barbie head, it'll be much easier to squeeze it off. Um, I don't know that you necessarily need to do this for a pen, but I think this will definitely make things much easier than um, my previous method. So we're going to just attempt to do this and literally we're just going to sit here until his face warms up. And another warning, do not touch their face paint because upon warming their faces up, the face paint gets warm as well. And you also may, you know, upon warming that up, if you touch it, it may smudge or come off entirely. So just be careful of their face paint. I just realized Mike's head is slightly discolored from his body. That's a treat. Alright, so I have not done this method with the Barbie yet. And by Barbie, I mean Barbie or Ken because their head texture is the same. I don't know exactly. Oh, this is so much easier. Okay, so basically you're just going to have to maneuver. Except Mike's hole is tiny and the hook is huge. This is going to take 
problem. Okay. At the same time, you're going to have to, okay. I see why that first part was important now. Oh God, his head is very much tight. Okay, wait, there you go. See that you don't want to pull on it too much. Um, because there is a chance that it will come up. See that? See that little circle? There you go. Um, oh crap, I'm completely touching his face paint. Oh, thank God, nothing happened. I got really lucky there. Okay, but you gotta be careful. Um, upon pulling it out, holy crap, Mike. This is also corona take time. Hi! This is corona take time. Holy crap, and you don't wanna rush it either because the more you pull on this hook, the more likely it's going to get loose and the less likely it's going to, you know, the, the head that goes back on is going to stay naturally. So, um, crap, I touched his face again. And his head is cooling down, which isn't the worst thing, but I mean, it would be nice. Um, oh, crap. Also, if you tend to get impatient easily, like I'm getting a little bit frustrated right now. You may want to stop and continue later because um, getting impatient is a bad thing when you're dealing with heads like this. Um, you don't want to force anything too quickly because um, there's a chance you could damage the head. Okay, I keep accidentally touching Mike's eye and I would really prefer to not mess about that, but see how his head's higher on his neck. We're getting somewhere here. I'm a bit nervous as to what's going on. And my phone's buzzing over there. So crap. So there is a there are lips inside this thing. And um Mike's happened to be really deep. He is a 2000 and the head says 11, but I think it's 2012. Um that yeah, Ryan. <laughs> He has a tattoo for Allison. My friend made that one. She's going to have to scrape it off and put it on his new body. Um, but um, basically, you're just going to have to be really careful. I'm, I'm, I'm really close. Okay. All right. See how his head's all wobbly now? I got the little circle. It took me five minutes, but I did it. I got the little circle out. And then from here, there's a hook. And I don't know how big it is. Um, I'm very nervous about this whole thing. Alright, I'm like being really careful about touching him. His head is cooling down. Okay, here we go. Alright. So we've got a head off. The hook is a bit loose. I mean, that always seems to happen. I'm not most concerned with this body, however, I'm most concerned with these two. Um, so basically that's what you have to do. This hook is not the worst thing. It's the fact that his lip is seriously super small um, and very thick. Um, it's at least a centimeter or two thick, the actual lip in here. So that's really big. So um, poor Mikey's been decapitated. That's scary. <laughs> Okay. All right, and here's his body. So, uh, rest in peace, dude. I mean, you were a great character, but and I mean, I'm really sorry I had to kill you. But I'm gonna bring you back to life. It's okay. Um, these dudes clearly have different heads than he does. Um, the sculpt is different. The body itself is different. Um, it doesn't cover up your um tattoo, your bad tattoo, please. Thank you. Okay. Um got a really bad tattoo as a teenager. Uh, anyway, so let's see what I'm dealing with. Actually, I don't even need the hair dryer for this one. This one's easy peasy lemon squeezy. See how it's like much looser because of the cut of his head? Oh, that's great actually. Except there's a circle and the lip is very, very deep. See that? <laughs> um, so I kind of have to protect his body, especially, um, and upon pulling this off, it could be very lethal, but you can clearly see his clear hook in there. Um, basically you just, you really have to maneuver it. See, I already got it out. It was easy, um, because of the shape of his head, like I said.
done. It was simple. His hook is much more free than the other one, which is intriguing to me. It's clearly supposed to be this way, so clearly they have a bigger range of motion. So Jason's officially dead, too. That's sad. Yay, William, buddy boy. Um, Because after the finale, I was like greatly inspired, and I was like, I want Charlotte, but I don't want it to be Cece. So then I completely improvised. So they again for the third time, it's the same lip as the first time, and his head actually has to be the easiest to remove. Um, Mike said I clearly had a much more difficult time with. See, I already got the circle out of him, and it sounded really, really wrong. But um, that's what happened. And then basically you just um, be careful not to. He has a lot more skin on his head, it seems like. See this? See that gigantic little like fold there? He's got a giant extra bit of thing and uh, his hook. Oh, his hook. There you go. I just twist it. Look at that. Okay. So now all three of them are decapitated. And basically what you do from here is you literally just put the heads back on. This was the hardest part and I succeeded in keeping them all safe. And uh, their hooks are only slightly different. Actually, Mike's works the same way. I don't know. It was just the shape of the head, I guess. That was the main difference in this entire thing. So yeah, let's see how this goes. This is going to be fun. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So, ow! The hook just went up my nose. All right. I know that Mikey here is going to get this body. Ready, Mike? You're finally going to get the body you deserve. You literally, there's a hole, there's a hook. You literally just have to shove the head back down. Um, and uh, the hook goes in easy peasy, clearly. And uh, you literally just have to shove the circle. Basically shove. Crap, Mike. Like Your hole is not big enough for your hook. Dude, so the skin matches perfectly, clearly. So, um, dang, Mike, you're good looking. Your neck's just way too long at the moment. So, uh, basically, you really just have to shove them in. If you actually, I think I'm gonna need the hair dryer for him because his hole is just too little. These guys with their giant chins, um, they kind of they're naturally that way. So, I mean, actually, let me see. So, he's the more unruly one, so he is. William and William gets the low maintenance and by low maintenance I mean low life because I can't speak. Mr. William here is uh, Crazy Charles and basically holy crap his body looks ex his head looks extremely weird in this body thus far. Okay literally I just literally just I basically just went like that and his hook the hook's already in the hole. So hopefully if I'm lucky I can just shove his circle in here without having to use. I'm not gonna get that looking, am I? Oh wait, how do I even? Oh wait! See if we can get Jason's head. He's already done. <laughs> I just shipped his head on. All right, now as for you, Michelangelo, you're being a pain in the butt. Um, so, thank you, Deuteronomist boys, for your time. So now they look a little bit different in body shape, and he needs his tattoo removed. So I'm gonna be like. Oh, friend. And I almost said my name, but I'm not gonna. Because I'm nice. Okay. Now. Now for you, buddy. We need to fix you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my brother's in the room outside of this, literally. Oh, wait. Did I get it? 
<gasps> Did I get it? I'm partially in. Yay, Mikey. Okay, let's see how well this works. Am I all the way in? Okay. Well, that's a problem right here. I might need to switch their bodies back because look at this. His head has, while the hook is in, because he does not have the open chin that um, they have. See how he had the, the open like chin like that so they can move their heads around and all that jazz. Mike doesn't have that. He's got that circle, so like literally he has no room to move his head around on his new body. And uh, he's he's kind of stuck. Cover yourself, dude. You don't have boxers on anymore. Thank you. You have a wife and a daughter. Um, so like he literally, he doesn't, he, he's, he's, he's pretty stuck. Um, so I don't necessarily know what I need to be able to do about that. His head is clearly like kind of tilted upwards um, permanently for the moment. Like I can pull it back off, um, but like he's, um, he can move it, but not really. And it's very limited. <laughs> just see how much effort it takes to just turn his head. Like that's sad. Um, yeah, Mike, Mike's gonna have to take his old body back. That's so depressing. Pressing. That's not fair. Well, um, I'm going to have to do another swap between these knuckles. <laughs> Sorry, can we just laugh at this one more time? How does his head move? Well, his head moves perfectly because of his chin. Um, I can even look down. He's just like, I don't know you. I don't like you. Um, Moving on. <laughs> um, but his his uh his neck kind of bulges out in the back like that because you know it's not supposed to be his body. Um but yeah, you know it's oh look, the sky is blue. Yes, William, the sky is blue. But I mean he can't he he can't live like this, unfortunately. De well dang it! That's depressing to me. I mean, I don't know if I should, like, um, I might have to, um, I don't want to mess with his head, though. Like, I've, um, I think I've seen something on a blog about having to, you know, cut the inside or the neck a little bit, and I'm just like, nope, I'm not messing with Mike's neck. So, I don't necessarily know what I'm going to do with him, because he kind of, he kind of can't have his body. It doesn't, well, skin tone works perfectly, but he just... He just can't. His head doesn't work. So, um, we're back to plan. We're not even back to a plan. We're back to start the start the starting line because he doesn't doesn't work. Um, but yeah, Jay Jason's um body transfer was successful. His was successful, although he's gonna have to swap again because. Mike can't live like this. All the body swaps were technically successful, but Mike just, he can't. Um, so that's depressing. We're gonna have to go back to square one on that one. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you get their bodies all swapped and pretty and yep. So uh, now you know, you can't necessarily put a Ken onto a um, Pita or a the I'm gonna guess like Theo from Theo. What the heck is his name? It might have been Theo. Four. But his real name is Theo. I don't remember now. I'm pretty sure it's his real name. If it isn't, I feel really depressing. From Divergent. I'm pretty sure that the div Divergent boy male dolls have the same body as Pita in Hunger Games, such as you'd see here. So, Kens cannot share bodies with them unless you modify their neck, which I have no idea how to do. That's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helped you guys because I mean, it's not too difficult. These are the more modern um, neck types. Um, like the um, the older Kens, they have just that circle. They don't have a hook as far as I know because my grandpa's head broke off at one point um, because the circle inside his head broke and his head broke off. Um, and they have little nubs. So honestly, it is so much easier to get a head off 
Um, but in terms of popping it back on and making it stay, I think it's more difficult because I think it's really, really hard to get it down in there, which is where um, this might come in handy. Um, so, I mean, be careful. If you're going to get frustrated, don't force it because, like I said, it can break the hook and then ultimately you can't use the body anymore if the hook is, like, too loose or ultimately it breaks off altogether. Um, so, did you buy a CC once and the hook broke and um, that probably painful day of my life. It's like, oh, no, I don't have another one of these bodies. I have to buy another one that can never use this one again. And it's worthless now. Like, yeah, that was depressing. Um, but yeah, so you have to be careful. If you're going to get frustrated, then take breaks. Um, definitely use heat to your advantage, but don't touch their faces too much because like I said, it may or may not melt their makeup. And, um, Listen, your head needs to get used to this body kit. Like, this is not working very well. All right, I'm gonna have to mess with them a little bit, but that's the basics of it. If you have any questions or concerns, definitely let me know. I apologize for the noise of the blow dryer. And, um, <laughs> I can't deal. So, yeah, when you're done with them and you like it, then you can just, um, his hands are discolored too. Oh boy, Mike, I'm noticing all this stuff about you and it's making me sad. Anyway, so yeah, definitely just uh, dress them once you're done with them. So yeah, enjoy them. Have fun with your new bodies and trends and yeah. So thanks for watching. But, 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 but by the way, Barbies basically work the same exact way. Your hook is smaller, so it's way, way easier to get it off. But at the same time, some of them are ridiculously huge. Um, so yeah, I don't, I, yeah.